moment we don't exactly know what could have caused these explosions, but it is reported that they came from a storage facility loaded with different types of ammunition and fuel left over by Georgian troops as they were retreating. For one hour, the sky over Russia's emergency ministries camp here in Skinvale, where I'm standing right now, which is just several hundred meters away from that facility, have been rocked by a series of massive explosions. We did see shells flying right over our heads here and heard them uh, flying over our heads. And uh, I personally saw undetonated shells uh, rain down on Russia's emergency ministries camp here. And I believe we can now listen to what South Ossetian authorities have to say on the situation. In northwest Skinvale, shells have been exploding in units of the transport company near the emergencies ministry's headquarters. So far, about 80 shells have exploded. Everywhere is covered in black smoke. It's hard to approach the zone. It's dangerous and it's been decided to evacuate people from nearby streets. It's not known what's caused these explosions. Uh, a representative from the ministry approached us and said that no injuries have been reported from the personnel here at the camp. The situation uh, recently became, became quite tense, obviously, but the Russian authorities have announced that they've finished uh, pulling troops back from the Georgian territory to its border with South Ossetia. According to them, the troops were sent to South Ossetia to provide the protection to the local population and also to the peacekeeping contingent operating in the area. Uh, for these purposes, 18 checkpoints were organized in the so-called security zones. Uh, Russian authorities have also denied speculation that Georgia's territory has been divided and said that all, uh, all Georgian roads are free for, for transport. Uh, also, earlier, uh, the West has uh, criticized the Russian authorities for not uh, realizing the six-point plan, which was mediated by the European Union and signed by Moscow and Tbilisi. And on Saturday, Russia's deputy chief of staff, Anatoly uh, Nagavitsin, has announced that uh, the, pull, uh, the pullback of troops illustrates that Russia is committed to all signed agreements. I want to quote the official French position on the issue of the buffer zones. This additional measures to provide security would mean patrols by Russian peacekeeping forces in the areas specified by the existing agreements, along with the pullout of the Russian forces to their positions as they were on the August 7th, before the start of the war. That is a detailed answer by Mr. Sarkozy to the question about the legitimacy of the peacekeepers' presence in the buffer zones. It is legitimate.